multiple response surface optimization. This example is taken from the Mayers and Montgomery response surface methodology book. In this example, this process is affected by time and temperature, and they're trying to optimize both the production rate is yield and the viscosity of what they're trying to produce. Now, a lot of time when you are trying to optimize two variables, they are always contradictory. For example, um, you want to reduce the cost, then the quality will suffer something like that uh, and this is true for anything process or life you want to get something more and then you have to sacrifice something else now if both of them are same thing then you really don't need to optimize two um, responses together or output together so in this example they're trying to shooting for 65 viscosity as you know the higher viscosity is is not good because it's too viscous the machine parts will not move as fast as it needed and then if it's too low viscosity then the machine wears faster so the always viscosity has some target value which is better in this case 65 that they're trying to shooting for and yield which is the production rate always high is better so let's copy this data i have copied this data in mini tab and analyze it and then after I analyze it I'll explain um, the entire process in this video how to do it so go to start DOE response surface design response surface uh, it says it cannot analyze because you haven't created it do hit yes uh, continuous I have temperature in uh, time variable um, low high just have to hit it otherwise mini tab will not run keep everything default hit ok I have two responses that I'm trying to optimize viscosity and yield and then I'm gonna keep everything simple I will not explain all these detail outputs here now if you're new in response surface I have the this is the first six videos on response surface under the open com slash design of experiment or DOE and then this video I'll be posting right here um, so if you're new, check these videos. They will explain a step-by-step -step process of learning basically response surface. They're not that difficult. So let's go back to mini tab and then produce the response surface. Now in this case, we are trying to optimize both uh, together. So I'm not going to create this counterplot or response surface. I'm going to go directly into something called overlaid counterplot. Um, that's where uh, we'll be able to um, overlay on over the other as it says and then uh, contours here we have to define is specify um, the target value that we're shooting I know viscosity is 65 it will not produce an exact value let's put it 62 and 68 three low three high um, so it produces a range and then um, yield is around 80 is the highest so I'm just going to be around these two numbers now you can play with it to until you see a nice surface um, data will also give you some clue um, if you um, look at the data set right here that will give you if you look at the data set the highest yield is around 80 and then we got is the, the middle value that we are shooting for so this is the individual responses we, we're not going to talk about that and this is the one i have produced in mini tab uh, as you can see here that uh, let me grab my pen um, so over this uh, blue solid line uh, over this the viscosity decreases so uh, less than uh, also this is the 62 viscosity line if you go below that the viscosity decreases too it's a 62 line and then this way this is the line 68 and as you go towards the middle the viscosity increases and then so this is the reason 62 to uh, 68 um, so 65 would be I would say in the middle somewhere around here that's the 65 
uh, viscosity line and higher production is in this circle so this dotted area which is the production 80 so if we if we are within this uh, oval uh, circle then we'll have the highest level of production and then on this line there so we are shooting for somewhere around here let's run the uh, optimizer in minitab and see what's the exact value for the time and temperature for the best output of humidity and viscosity so we're going to do response surface optimizer and then viscosity will shoot for a target value 65 and then the yield which is uh, we want to maximize the yield so we don't have to do anything i'll keep everything just as it is um, so this is the plot let's go to my so here is this graph that i have produced um, in the uh, mini tab optimizer as you can see the time is around 87.5 is the most optimum value and then the temperature is around 178.66 um, so this is not really that complicated uh, once you know how to design the response surface and collect the data and then if you have a software availability minitab jmp sas anything will basically produce this and then um, i think that's it um, so if you let me go back to the open educator again to show uh, kind of few steps. So, um, center of composite design is the primary basic in uh, the response surface design. Um, you can, of course, watch all of them. I'm going to post this video right here. Um, I hope this helps. Not really that complicated, easy.